Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I was so excited when I did the review on Cody about this darker rooted and silver tipped hairstyle. I wanted to make sure I did a review back to back of, on Casey. So I have Casey in the soft pewter rooted silver color. So stay tuned and you'll get to see me compare both of these. All right, welcome back. I'm going to go ahead and compare Cody with the um, Casey that has the silver tipped hair, just almost like the Cody. All right, this is soft pewter and this is frosted root beer. Frosted root beer is going to have the dark, uh, the brown and silver mix on the bottom with the silver on top with the dark root. Casey, on the other hand, is the whole wig is dark roots with silver on the on the ends. But let's take a look at the dimensions and everything. Okay, here's Casey. I already did a review on Cody, so you you've got that information. But let's take a look at the cap construction. All right, so for Casey, we have a lot of the same thing. We've got a really wide, soft, velvety headband. We've got closed crown and top. So we have a little bit more opportunity for some permatees. I think on Cody, we had some open wefting. It was an open cap construction. Um, on the sides, we have a little bit more of an extended ear tab and they are open. We do have the Velcro closures or adjusters on both sides. It does not, Cody or Casey does not have a, a nape the same way that Cody does not have a nape, but they still have, they have the similar brown, or I mean soft velvet tab. And so, and then open wefts everywhere else. Alrighty, the lengths and dimensions, let's look at the comparison. On Cody, what we have is three and three quarters lengths on the top and crown and all around the front. That's three and three quarters. On Casey, the top and the crown is only three inches. So that's, you get a little bit more length with this wig on top than you do with Casey. The front is uh, two and a half on Casey and the upper back, two and a half. And we have the same measurement on this one, two and a half. And the upper back is almost the same. Here we have a two and three quarters. On Casey, we have two and a half on this upper back. The nape is going to be longer on Casey. This is two inches here. And on Cody, it's only an inch and a half. So let's see how Casey compares to Cody when trying them on, okay? All righty, so shake Casey up kind of get in those fibers a little bit and wake them up. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it on. Already I can tell this particular wig cap is larger. It's giving me more coverage, I can tell already. Let me get my own, okay. A little bit more on the side. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing to Casey that I did with Cody. I'm going, oh, that's kind of a lovely look, isn't it? We can just do that and pour it down the middle. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting delirious. It's time for me to eat. Do you guys get hangry? I do. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take my water and I'm going to spritz my wig all over. Now I can tell in the back I have more length on Casey than I did on Cody. Now look at that lovely dark rooted area. I really do like the dark rooting. It just helps me to blend my eyebrows and my black makeup. It balances. Okay, let's, let's see if we can that forward okay so this looks like it's a little bit more of a softer look the hair is a little softer it's not quite so spiky on the edges it's not cut that way okay so we've got 
some similarities. We've got, it's still a pixie. I'm gonna go around here. I'm gonna pull that down a little bit more and see if I can co coax that into staying. Okay, well, I'll take my glasses off. It might be a little easier to do some of this. Okay, so now what we have is I'm bringing these edges forward to cover my natural hairline. And because my ears kind of stick out, if I put the, if I take the wig hair and put it out on here, I, I look like I've got wings on or ear flaps or something. So I usually will put that behind my ear. And of course I have my hearing aids back here. But making sure I have all the edges kind of taken care of. And then I can do whatever I want to up here. That's where most of the styling comes from. I could, let's, well, I haven't tried this look, but I could do something like this coming forward. That looks rather trendy, doesn't it, with the dark in here? I can make sure that it sweeps all the way to the side, either from the right or the left. Let's see. Yeah, I can just... And I love doing it with my fingers because then it doesn't look... It looks a, a little bit more stylish. Okay. I can spike out my bangs, just piece them out, leave them, them kind of and just let it dry like this. If I want to make sure that it stays this way, I could spray some hairspray for wigs on my hands, rub them together, and then pat it everywhere and just re, re make sure that it's it's still looking the same way I want it to. Now this I've got and of course that just looks like I have a cowlick, doesn't it? Let me do a spin. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and turn around this way. You can take your fingers and rake the hair fibers back together so that they come to a point in the back. And that looks very, very fashionable. That is going to be one way that you can disguise your wig to have it not look like a wig. So that's a really nice feature. Okay, well, I kind of like this. I would probably keep this one and I would not keep the Cody for me. It's just the way that Cody is made and it might be a fluke just for that. But you know, the, the sides are really short and I do find I need more coverage. So when I look at the measurements in the catalog, I think about um, uh, what those me side measurements are. And if it's supposed to be short and spiky, chances are it's not going to fit my face. So I need to have a little bit more. So right, right here, the sides are two and a half, and that's enough where the sides were, well, they were the same on, on Cody too, two and a half. So I don't know, I don't get it, but you know, sometimes that's the luck of the draw and, and that's the way when we, when we order wigs online and we just don't know what we get until we get it. Anyway, so now I can also, pull up my bang a little bit. And if I'm parting it from the right hand side, then I might open up my hairline just a tad in this area to sweep my bang over this way. I find a, a separation that looks natural so that it adds a little bit of um, asymmetry to my face so that I don't look like a square completely. Because when I do wear pixies, depending on the pixie, my jaw is very um, angular. And so it might be real evident. And if that's the case, then I need to spend some time with my bangs, softening the curvature or the line that's created from the bangs. Does that make sense to everybody? So anyway, maybe those are kind of some things that you're thinking about too. Um, or you might have to follow through with that same kind of thing. So anyway, but you know, play with the wig and see how it works. You can even take tiny little clips and have fun with something like this and just 
even just set that over here. You know, that's a little tiny one. Or, you know, I have that blingy headband. Let me take a look. Where is that? Ah, here it is. Let me take this clip out. Now, I've been wearing it on this side, but I think because it's parted over here, I'm going I'm to flip it from this side to this side. Let's take a look. Well, I look a little special here, don't I? I got my bling on. <laughs> well, you know, if it's, that's what you want to do, you can do it. And then, of course, we've got all of the other kinds of headbands, square bands. Let's take a look at that. Just put that right back here. That adds a little bit of something. And make sure your hair is just kind of combed out around it. Square bands, if you're not familiar with them, are headbands that are like sunglasses. Look at how ingenious is that? And they fit on virtually every wig and they make your wigs look like they're not a wig. So they come in a huge variety of colors and textures. I will put the link to them down below. You have seen um, my, what is it, the wire headbands? Just take it and wrap it around the bottom. Turn that around once. Get those edges underneath there. Cute little headband. How cute is that? So, you know, and I can wear it with the bow on the top too. You might want to slide that so that the tips of that aren't sitting up. Anyway, you can do all kinds of things. Wear different kinds of headbands and treatment. Now, side by side, let's take a look. Cody is a little warmer. Casey is more uh, blue silver, black and white silver. This is warmer. It's got more brown in it. So Cody's going to be a little bit warmer if you're looking at um, purchasing Cody. So that's the color of this one. It's not white and black and that silvery color. It's it's an warm, almost like a platinum color, silver, with brown in the back. And Casey comes in 33 colors, as well as petite and average sizes. And Cody comes in 22 colors, but only comes in an average size. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my video here today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you to all my subscribers. I just absolutely love looking at your comments and then com commenting back. So please um, make sure that you tell others to come about my channel and have them subscribe. And we will see you next time. Okay? Bye-bye.